It's the Ask Rhea Show, coming to you live with life, love, and the supernatural. From the real lifestyle of the rich and famous to the Cupid of love or the untold stories of supernatural. Get it all right here on the Ask Rhea Show. Now, here's Rhea. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Ask Rhea Show. This is the week of life. So, I decided we're going to do something different. I am going to show, some of you may know how to do this, and some of you may not know how to do this, and I don't claim by any means that I'm a chef, but this is one of my favorite, favorite things to make. Okay, I'm going to teach you who don't know how to make cinnamon rolls. It's very easy, under two hours, and you can do this in no time. I mean, it's a very great, great dish for a company or morning or whatever, 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 parties, what have you. Anyway, it is so much fun to make, so easy to make, and I have everything all laid out for you, so I'm going to do it real time. Have you ever watched one of those videos where you're trying to get the, the recipe down and it's going fast, 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 and you can't get it? Well, this is real time. You're going to get to see exactly what happens. So uh, let's get started and show you exactly how we do this. The first thing I do, I get my bowl and I, I, by the way, I just love cooking. Okay. So, so I get my bowl and I do my liquids first. Some people don't, some people do their flowers first. I pour my milk in first, which is actually three fourths cups of milk and my one egg. Oops. I just spilled some. My one egg that I'm OCD I can't help it and we're gonna do our butter I'm gonna put a butter is room temperature see it sinks all the way down it's room temperature so uh, we're gonna put our butter in that's gonna be easy to blend in make sure you get everything in there okay now we're gonna put our yeast you can use one package of yeast. I have the loose yeast and I just know how much to put in there. But this is equivalent to one package. And um, this is the quick dry. So, my yeast and then a, like a pinch of salt, like a half a, half a um, teaspoon of salt. And then you have your sugar. I do one scooper length of, I mean, um, amount of sugar in there. And you can put as much sugar like me. I put as much sugar as I want to put in there. So what we're going to do, I normally use the, this end, but since I've already touched the butter on this, I'm just, and the butter is already soft, I'm going to go ahead and whisk it with this. Stir it up with this. And this, just get it, you know, a little, very mixed in there. And you don't have to get your butter all the way, um, you know, blended in with everything. And I'm hoping you're enjoying my Beethoven. I love Beethoven. I mean, oh my gosh. If any music that you can possibly listen to that's very mellowed out. And I just had two margaritas on my, on my day off and loving it, loving it, loving it. So I'm like really mellow. Not drunk, just mellow. <laughs> so anyway, so we finished this. There's nothing better than doing margaritas to Beethoven. Just wanted you to know. Okay, finish that. Now, what we're gonna do, you know what? I'm such a neat freak for a clean person. I don't like getting stains on my counter, so I'm gonna put that there for that. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna put our flour in. This is two and a half. Uh, I use um, a bread flour. Bread flour works better, it's less messy, and it's actually made for bread um, products. So I use two and a half cups of flour, and I put it on top of my liquids. Because I like it to catch my liquids, I don't like my, li my liquids to catch up with it. And it makes it easier to um, form your dough. So I just kind of whisk this around a little bit and let it find the liquid. You're gonna find it works out so much better doing it this way. Forming your dough is way easier when, you're, when your flour finds your liquids instead of your liquids overtaking your flour. 
just something I like to do because I don't like a big mess and I don't like to get my hands a lot of sticky. It don't matter what I'm cooking, but I still don't like to get them that sticky if I don't have to. But see how it's forming already? This is this is great. It's already starting to form. The flour is already catching up with the dough I and mean, with the liquids. Wow, this is actually moving really fast. If you guys do it this way, it's going to move really, really fast. I mean, it's literally ready to come out of the bowl already. Wow. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to take out the bowl. We're going to sprinkle the table with a little flour just to make sure that it um, doesn't stick to anything if it comes out. And just kind of rub it around. Now we're going to take it out of the bowl. It is ready to come out. Look at that. Look at that. It is all ready to come out. Ooh, it's going to be an easy job right here, guys. Follow it like this. It's going to be an easy job. Let's get this out of the way. Okay. Now we're going to put the stick down and use your hand. Oh, this feels great. It feels great. It's not sticky. It was ready to come out. Now we're just going to knead this. I don't mind if I get dirty. But getting dirty lets me know I did something. <laughs> So I'm going to knead this for a while, like um, not too much. You know, put the powder, if, it's, if you feel like it, um, it's too wet, you know, just put some more flour down. And you just kind of fold it and rub it in. Fold it. If it gets a little sticky, just put some more, powder, um, some more uh, flour down and roll it in there. I normally put it on the table, not necessarily on it unless I have to, like it's like really, really, really wet. And then I'll do that. But if I feel stickiness, I'll just let it, like right now, it's real sticky. I'll put some on here and I'll put some on the table. And I only use a little bit. That's why I put it in that little container. I only use a little bit because you don't really need a lot, lot, just enough to get your uh, dough, you know, where it's, where it's spongy looking or feeling. And this is becoming a really good dough, really good dough. It feels good. Just a slightly sticky, but not sticky to stick to your hands. Just a slight stickiness. So if it's not like sticking to the counter or sticking to your hands, you don't really have to keep putting any more powder on it. I'm calling it powder, but you know I'm talking about um, flour. So this is looking good. It's feeling good. I think I'm going to put a little bit more on the table because it's getting a little... Stick it on there, let's rub it around a little bit. And that should do it. Yep, that does it. See, you don't need a lot. It's gonna be really, really smooth, really soft, really round, and really, really smooth. I like that. You don't need to do a lot of um, kneading when you're doing this. So, getting it into a nice ball and Getting the flour, getting it to a nice little ball. Okay, see? Nice little round ball. Now, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna flatten the top of it. I'm just gonna press down on the top, and that's gonna give it the dough a chance to breathe a little bit. And that's gonna make it easier to roll out. So I just kind of flatten it at the top a little. And at this point, we're gonna use our um brown sugar bowl oops no got that one and we're going to cover this for five minutes and after five minutes then we're going to go ahead and roll it out so alexa alexa set the alarm for five minutes five minutes starting now okay so in five minutes this should rise and we'll be back in five minutes Okay, we're back. It has been five minutes. Alexa started screaming. I'm not talking to you. Okay, so now let's move this bowl so you can see. Now that we have this, we want to go ahead and just knead it just a little bit. Not, you know, so much. Just a little bit more. And what we're going to do now, we're going to roll this into a triangle. Uh, no, my bad. Rectangle, not triangle. I don't want to do three squares. I mean, three corners. Okay. Um, I'm going to put some flour up here. Just a little bit. And also some in your hand. So that 
Some of the dishes I make, I make in triangles is why I said that, but now this one is actually a rectangle. We're gonna put this one in a rectangle, put some a little bit under it for the sticky areas. And, you know, make sure it's not too sticky. Put some more down here if you need it. Rub it up, make sure it's not sticky. And your dough should be beautiful, soft, and bounce back. You see that? It bounces back. Okay. When your dough is there, it's ready. Now, get it back in your little circle. And we're gonna roll this into a triangle. Did I say triangle again? Rectangle, sorry. Okay, I told you tequila starting to work. So we're gonna roll this. Technically our goal is to get a, um, a rectangle, but also more like a square um, shape. You cannot, this is not an easy process. Let me, let me just tell you that. This is not. When I first did this, oh my God. The lady who I was looking at do this, I was like, oh no, I don't know how you did that, but you're on your own. And this is not an easy process, but it's time consuming. I'm gonna roll it out. I'm trying to get that whiteness in there. And let me just say, when we did the dough earlier, oh my God, that was so quick that that happened. That doesn't normally always happen that easily. Please believe me. It does not happen that easy. It normally takes a while to get that dough to mix in with the ingredients. But I think the way that I do it is the reason why it does it that way. Because I put my uh, liquids in first and then I add my flour. I don't add my flour and then add the liquids. A lot of people do it that way, but I don't. It might come out very soft, very, very, um, very, very soft and, and edible, very good. Oh, I love them. Very, very good. So we can get this to as much as you can to a rectangle or a square. Does not matter, either or, it'll be fine. Might always come out looking like a half a circle, so. Let my nails get on that. Okay. Always coming out looking like a half a circle, but it's still gonna work. Okay, so when you get this all rolled out, I think this is gonna be good. Get back up there. That's gonna be good. Oh, here comes the fun part. Okay, so we got this as much as a square as possible. Shy of a rectangle, I'm shy of a circle. There we go. If yours look like this, and it doesn't have to be perfect, please believe me, it does not have to be perfect. I learned that from experience, so make sure that's true. Now, what we're gonna do is take the butter. Even though the butter is room temperature, um, it could possibly be done with a spatula. I do it with my hands, but I'm gonna try it. I didn't do it especially before because it was too much. I'm gonna see if it works out right for me. Okay, so we're just gonna spread this on. The less mess you can mess, make is, you know, better. So before, it didn't do this for me. So I was leery about it, but let's see. It seems to be doing okay this time. Spreading it all over, make sure you get every corner every inch of this thing this butter is going to come into play believe me this is going to be your biggest biggest thing important thing about this feeling is this butter so make sure you spread it all the way across and as needed i just add yeah make sure you get the corners and as good as you want your Cinnamon rolls to taste, that's how buttery you want to put this. That's what, how important this part is. So, and make sure you get it really buttery, get all the corners. This is actually spreading really good, actually. I'm impressed because last time it did not do this. And I'm impressed. I'm impressed with the whole process. This is going to be very good, good cinnamon rolls because my rolling process was really easy. I mean, it started forming as soon as I put it in the 
put the flour in there and i'm like this is wonderful that's the part i hate the most really i love cooking but i hate that kneading because sometimes it takes forever to knead that thing and normally with this it takes a long time to get that dough to come together and start you know joining forces <laughs> but this time it went right in there it really just went right in there i have a little bit butter left so normally this would be enough because it's covered but because i want it really 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 soft and whatever i'm gonna do some extra butter on here and you can stop there if you want to but i just like the extra butter you will appreciate this later believe me you will so i just like to put the extra butter on here because everything after this is going to be packed on this butter. So this is nice and buttery now. Uh, butter is sticking to that. There you go. Nice and buttery. This is the fun part. And it's extra fun for me because I don't have to use my hands today and I get to keep my hands clean. I just got my nails done today. <laughs> so not that I don't mind getting them dirty, but if I don't have to, I won't. So, uh, this is nice. This is so nice. I'm impressed. If you guys follow these steps exactly how I did them, you will be just as impressed as I am, even if it's your first time making them, because this is the easiest. When I say easy, I mean easiest. Make sure your butter is room temperature. If it's not room temperature, put it in the microwave for about... I'll say six, it's about 10 seconds, 10 seconds and get it some melts. Set it up in the room for room temperature. And if it's still not soft enough, put it in the microwave for like 10 seconds. And you will see that it is at that point of this, uh, where we are right now. Okay, so this is done. So I got some butter on there, but that's good. I don't need any more butter. Now, I, I don't know how much you like cinnamon, but I love cinnamon. So I... You know, some of the recipes only call for, you know, just a lightly cinnamon. No, I love cinnamon. Do you like your cinnamon rolls when you peel them to really look cinnamony? <laughs> if that's such a word. Here we go. This is how we do it. I put cinnamon, oh, that's a little bit on the end, but that's okay. It's going to fall in place. I put cinnamon, I make sure I cover all the areas. You know, when I was in school, I used to tell my kids to color around in circles first because that, you know, you won't go outside of the line. So I say color around the the area and go around the area first and then you know you won't go outside of the lines well i'm going to tell you to do the same thing to go around the areas and then you can go in the middle and you won't mess your counters up so there you go and just go in the middle the more cinnamon the merrier when you roll open that cinnamon bun and you see that cinnamon oh my gosh you're just gonna pass out it's like so awesome I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's never too much cinnamon for me. I love this. I like my cinnamon buns to look like a cinnamon bun. I like the look it came right out the store. See any white spots? Cover it up. Cover it up. You may say, wow, that's a lot of cinnamon. Trust me, at the end, you're going to be like, oh, that's a lot of cinnamon. Okay, now, come a little messy part. You just take your hand and kind of rub it in there. Just rub it. Rub it. Rub it in there. Get it in that butter. Just rub it in that butter. Get it in there. I, I could have used that spatula thing, but you know, it don't matter. I'm used to using my fingers. By habit, by habit. Okay, we got it in there. It's looking good. Oh, you know what? I just forgot that what else you can put in here. Okay, washing my hands. Hold on. I just forgot. I, 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 you know, I was so busy trying to get this stuff prepared for you guys. I literally forgot all this good stuff you can put in here that I didn't even tell you about. Oh, wow. Silly, silly me. Okay, hold on. Let me get something. Oh, what I forgot to tell you about was the, um, the nuts and the raisins. Oh my gosh, you do not want to make this without the nuts and the raisins. I actually use one of my um, ingredients bowls to do my nuts. And these are pecans. So let's wait for the raisins. The pecans, we actually just had a little bit left from the last one I did. And my brother, he always talked about, who's also my camera guy and my editor, he's great at what he does. But he always talked about, he didn't taste the nuts last time. So I made sure I put a lot of nuts in it this time. And I just crushed the nuts with this. Just take a 
anything. I don't care what you got to crush it with a cup, whatever. I just use the ingredients thing. And I just crush my nuts. And get them nice and crunchy. Just drop one. Okay. So now just take the nuts and spread it all over there. Get the nuts in there. People don't be shy with the nuts. Not really a nut person, but you know, these are good. Um this is so good. So just get the nuts in there, sprinkle the nuts on in there. Let me get this bulk of the nuts in here. Okay, so sprinkle these nuts on there. Get those nuts sprinkled around there on those edges. Okay, that's for the nuts. Now, this is I hope you like raisins. Um, you can do raisins, cherries, whatever you want to put inside of yours. I like raisins in mine. So you just put the raisins, sprinkle them around in there. Just get them around there. And the raisins melt so well in there. Oh my God, this is so good. Put those raisins in there. We're at a good part right now. This is this is a very good part. This is when you get to put whatever you want to put in there. Get creative with it. You don't have to follow anybody's recipe. If you think of something that you want to do, do it. Recipes come from thoughts and ideas and creativity. So, yeah, if you think of something else you want to do with it, hey, feel free. Spurge. Okay. I think that's enough raisins. Okay. So, now... We are going to do the interesting part, which is rolling it. Now, when I first did this, I rolled it so big because I was trying to follow a recipe and it came out so fat, but it came out good. This time, I want us to take our time. So take up your ends, and if it feels like really squishy, believe me when I tell you. I thought at first when it came out squishy, that it was gonna be like, this is not gonna come out right. The squishiness brought it out such a wonderful softness and taste to it. Oh my God. Okay, here we go. So we're going to start here on a small roll and try to keep it as small as possible. I'm just going to roll it. Just roll it. Trying to keep it as small. It's going to get a little fat, but you're going to roll it as tight and small as you can. Think about it. Your first cinnamon roll, when you like those multiple rolls in it, this is that part. So we're just gonna roll it and 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 roll it. Now I'm gonna pinch these ends. Let's close it up. Oh, we've got some cheese and butter coming out of there. I'm gonna pinch these ends and close it up. Close those ends, roll it again, pinch those ends. Pinch it, pinch it, pinch it, close them up, close them up. Roll it again, pinch them, close them, pinch them, close them. Okay. I do this because I don't like my um, cinnamon buns to roll open. So I like to make sure they're fastened down by pinching them and rubbing them together. And again, rolling it back, making sure that's sealed. Okay, there is another step that we gotta do, but guess what? I forgot the thread. So, give me a minute. We'll be right back in two seconds. I'm gonna go get the thread. Be right back. Moving so fast, I forgot one part. I'm so busy with my cinnamon, I forgot to put my brown sugar in. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put my brown sugar in here. It's not too late to go back. I rolled it back out. And that's when you got good dough, when you can roll it back out. Roll it back out and put some cinnamon inside of here and whisk that up in there a little bit, get that together. Just mix that up in there with the cinnamon and the brown sugar. I just kind of crush these parts up with the hand because they take so long, they're so big. Just, just whisk it up with your hand, mix it together. It's like, oh no, I forgot my brown sugar. I make this so much, I just sometimes forget the steps until I see it. It's never too late. Okay, so here we go. Just 
Just sprinkle your brown sugar, brown sugar on there. The butter. The butter. See, I got so excited about my cinnamon, I forgot about my brown sugar. No biggie, just roll it back out and keep it going. But if you haven't done this yet, remember to put this on before you roll it, okay? And as you can see, I rolled it back out so it doesn't harm it. You forget the step, don't worry about it. You can roll it back out. So that was a good mistake because then if you guys forgot it, you know, you can go back and do it. Don't get fed up with it and go, I'm going to throw this dough away because I can't, I didn't do it right. Nope. It's a real forgot her, so, and she did it, I can do it too. Now, that's where the butter comes in. Pack it down. Pack it down. Pack everything down. Make sure nothing rolls off of it. For the second time around, we're going to roll this. So if you didn't get the roll the first time, we're going to get it this time. Okay, so make sure it's in there. Mine's a little bit more stickier because I unrolled it the first time, but it's going to be even more. Oh, it means that raisins are everywhere. I'm loving it. I'm so loving it. I may, sec I may do this again next time just for the heck of it, just to re-roll it. Raisins on the outside, on the inside. This is looking fabulous. I mean, you can see the bread. Look at that. It's already looking like a cinnamon roll. This is fabulous. This is fabulous. Oh, my God. I'm not rolling it off the table, really. Okay. This mess, um, I need to clean it because I am, like, so OCD. Put my raisins back on there. Get this off of here. Okay, so we can roll back on a clean surface. Clean. Now we're going to roll it back over here to you. Now go back and pinch the ends again and make sure. Oh, yeah, I got my thread. Okay, make sure that the ends are pinched and they are connected because you don't want your dough falling apart. Learn that the hard way. Falling apart when you go into it. And I roll it again. And I roll it and I get there. Okay. We are ready. Okay, now we take the thread. You get just regular, you know, sewing thread. Get it even, um, I can see the end of this. There you go. And kind of double it up. Tie the end. And before we do this, put that there. We're gonna walk over here to the pan. I'm gonna put this on a regular cooking sheet. I got my aluminum foil around it because when I wrap it for the hour, it's gonna, you know, be wrapped in aluminum foil. Now, with your aluminum foil, just get some regular, you know, butter flavored spray and just spray your pans if they're not, you know, um, already greased or what have you. So I just spray it really good. And I like to rub it around in there because I've learned that that can play a part in it as well. So you know, I just rub it around and get it in there. Okay, so now this is the interesting part that I really love. You're gonna take the thread. The ends are always safe for last. So you're gonna pick it up and put it under it on the end. And then you're just gonna twist it and pull. There's your end. See how beautiful that is? Oh my gosh. That's set to last. We're gonna do the other end. And we're gonna take it and pull. Oh, another beautiful cinnamon roll. Look at that with all those raisins in there. I'll leave that there for you. You're gonna gulk over. <laughs> okay, now let's go back to this. I can start from one end. Okay, here we go. Wait, you know what I wanna do? I wanna do this. Okay, you can. Also, use this to make your indentions to see exactly where you want to cut it. And that way, you know, you get them pretty much even. Okay, so you know where you want to cut it. Okay, so I was going to cut there anyway. So, voila! Look at how beautiful that is. Oh my God, I'm so loving this. And you just sit it right there. Just sit it there. With the raisin sticking out of it. Okay. Just raise it up a little bit more. Go to your next indention. Woo, voila. Look at how pretty that. Look at all those raisins in there. Oh, this is going to be wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay. And... 
There we go. Oh, look at that. That's just wonderful. Make sure you space them out. I like to do them on the um, cooking pan because I can space them out. Okay. There we go. So easily cut. So wonderful. These are going to be big and beautiful. Look, girl, girl, guy, whoever's looking at this, it's going to look like it came right out of the store right out of the store oh my gosh oh look at that one just gorgeous 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 and they're gonna be big ones too you know no more going to the mall unnecessarily buying these big old big old um cinnamon rolls for like five to eight dollars when in fact you can make them yourself and be just as pretty and big so, no need. When you know how to do it, why not do it? Okay. Okay, they're looking really, really good. The back row is going to be way bigger than the front row. But that's okay. Because you're going to see how some of the big ones look. And how some of the small ones look. Or medium-sized ones. Okay, we're just going to put that one on there. And then we go back to our other two. Put those top heavy up there. Okay. Making sure everything is, you know, stuck together as far as the ends and separated. Now, this is going to sit for one hour. So what I'm going to do, get this table washed off. My thread over here. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you a trick that most people don't know how to do. I came up with this on my own because I just love this kind of stuff. Okay. The first one we're gonna take, because you know it's on a cooking sheet, so it's not like it's gonna be able to fold it over with the top. So I put this one like partially under here. And I put this one partially under here. And I put this, these two, one for one at a time. I put this one partially under here. And this one partially under here. And what I do, I just lean this one here. I lean that one there. I lean that one there. I lean that one there. And it doesn't have to be all the way covered just sitting and you're going to sit in here for one hour and let them rise and that ensures that it rises and not squishes as well so this just kind of sits up there and it doesn't squish it okay alexa set the alarm for one hour one hour starting now okay so we're going to take one hour let these rise you know what in the meantime we don't have to wait for this i would there you know, um, cinnamon rolls are nothing without the frosting. So I'm going to show you how to do the frosting. If you can follow me over here, then um, we're going to do the frosting. So let's go over here. So now we're ready to make the frosting for these wonderful, wonderful cinnamon rolls. Okay. It is the easiest thing. So you don't have to do a lot. This is Samantha. Samantha and I work together all the time. She loves me, I love her. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is cream cheese. Please make sure your cream cheese is room temperature, even if you have to put it in the microwave for 10 seconds. Because when you don't, it takes forever to blend and mix. So this clearly is room temperature, and I put it in for five seconds. So we're gonna put this in here. Then, of course, we got the butter. That's room temperature. That's sinking in. We got to put the butter in. That goes in there. Okay. It flops up in there. And we got a pinch of, of salt. Just a pinch of salt. And on the vanilla, I normally do two lidfuls of vanilla. Just two. That's all the measuring you have to do. And the next thing you do, 
that out of the way. The next thing you do is um, your um, sugar, your um, powdered sugar, your powdered sugar. Put your powdered sugar in. And this is where Samantha comes in. Here. Samantha likes to use her own pot. I've tried other pots. She worked with them, but she really doesn't like them. So I work with Samantha. So if you can come a little closer and see what it looks like when it starts out, you'll then be able to see what it looks like in um, when it starts to actually get pretty creamy. So I'm going to ask my camera guy if he can bring you a little closer to me. So this is what it looks like in the pot it's just going to be there okay so when it actually starts to mix you're going to see you can mix it on the start on low just let it you know get the um plumped up together and don't worry about it getting plumped up in there because samantha's going to start throwing it everywhere once it's um you know loosened up more and because everything was room temperature, as you can see, it's starting to actually come out now. I'm going to put it a little higher. And now you can see how it's mixing up so well. And because everything was room temperature, it's actually working very, very fast. And it's starting to already look creamy. Wow, look at that. She's like slinging it everywhere. And it's looking so creamy. Getting those, those chunks, grinding them in, and look at how it's coming together so creamy. This is going to be great. Oh, she's throwing some more out there. This is going to be great. Maybe if you want to know, I got Samantha from Amazon. I, I'm an Amazon junkie. I get everything from Amazon. So Samantha, you can get from Amazon. I had great reviews on her. And I named her Samantha because like summer, she's good for everything during the summer and everywhere. She just looks like summer to me. So, I'm the one who names everything. But you can get it from Amazon. And um, she does very well, very well. Look at that. Look how creamy that is. Now, if I put it a little higher. Oh, look at the creaminess of that. That is beautiful. She is really, really getting that mixture in there. Oh, that's wonderful. That is wonderful. Very, very creamy. Now, let's let's see exactly where it is. Because we want to take it out anyway. Look at that. And we want to kind of stare it around and make sure we got everything in there. Make all sure all the ends in there and the bottom and what have you. Oh, this is looking so good. I am so eager to taste this. I am... Um, I made a promise to myself to make sure you get it out of here, you know, so it doesn't get stuck in there. So Sam is not going to make sure she's going to make sure it doesn't get stuck in there anyway, but it's looking good. So we're going to put her back and let her do her thing. And we're going to put it on the little pie. And she is so creamy. That is coming out so wonderful. She's so, so wonderful. I would say Sammy's doing a great job. Beautiful. And just to make sure that it's ready, I put it a little high. Give it a little big spin. And make sure she gets everything in there, all the little clumps in there. And while I'm doing this, Let's see 
what Samantha has done. Oh my God, look at the creaminess of this. Look at that. It is, oh, mmm. It is so fabulous. It is so creamy. And you see the creaminess of this? Look at this. Can you see that? That is absolutely wonderful. And that's all the kind of cream you need. Perfectly done. Okay. So we're going to go. We're going to go and wait for the rest. Uh, Alexa, how much time do we have left? How much? You have 26 minutes left on your one hour time. Okay, so we have 26 minutes left. In 26 minutes, we're gonna come back and we're gonna look at these beautiful, beautiful um, cinnamon rolls and I'm gonna show you how to put the uh, frosting on them at the end, but in the meantime, we're gonna put them in the oven and get them started. This comes last. I just love the frosting. Oh, look at that. It's just so thick, it's so creamy. Mm. You're gonna love it. You're so gonna love it. So, we're gonna come back in 26 minutes and I will see you then. Okay, so it is time to look at and see how big they have risen up to be. Let's unfold this. Oh my gosh, look how big they got. Do you see that? Look at the size of these. Now at this point, what you wanna do is make sure they are, you know, closed anybody who opened up that was the reason for the pinching you see the pinching that always worked but now you want to make sure that they're always closed yes it's gonna bake that way oh and they're spaced out they're beautiful they're big we're gonna have some big brown beautiful fluffy nuts and raisin cinnamon rolls okay so I'm gonna set the oven for uh, 375. 375, and I'm gonna bake for 20 minutes. They're delightful. Okay, here we go. And in 20 minutes, we're gonna be back and frost them with this wonderful, I transported the frosting over to this bowl. So we're gonna be back and frost them with this wonderful frosting. It is wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So, 20 minutes. I'll be right back. It is about that time to take them out. Okay, make sure you got your mittens, okay? Okay, let's see what they look like. And you'll see that me re-rolling them didn't make much of a difference at all. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at how beautiful they are. Oh. Look at how beautiful they are. They are absolutely gorgeous. Oh, they're big. They are, and they're so soft. Look at that, they're soft. Okay, what we wanna do, we wanna put the frosting on them while they are hot because it seeps all the way into them. Okay, so this wonderful, wonderful um, frosting that we made. Oh, look at that, look at that. Oh, I just wanna eat it by itself, really and just rub it on there. Oh, that's not just look yummy. That is so wonderful. So wonderful. Oh. You know, I used to put it all the way around the whole thing, but what that does is take away from how it looks. So I don't really do that anymore, but I do put a lot of frosting on them and on the top of them. So you can roll them out. Oh, that is so wonderful, so wonderful. You got a whole thing of frosting here. You can do as much as you want to. However, to your own glory, darling. However you want, this is a beautiful one right here. However you want to do it, you just let it rip. OK, 
because this is the most wonderful part of the whole thing is actually frosting them and their beauty their wonderful beauty now if you got a lot of cream left over that's okay because if you cupcakes or anything else that you do you can use this cream for that cheesecakes i made a cheesecake um a cheesecake coffee cake uh, it was wonderful and you can use this cream for any this cheesecake cream um, frosting for anything cupcakes or whatever else if you bake a cake or whatever you do any kind of dessert you use any kind of dessert so don't feel bad if you got a lot of cream cheese left over put it in a container and freeze it in case you need it for later because i know we're going to have a lot left over I'm, I'm putting extra on this one because it's kind of big oh let's move on look at oh look at how beautiful these are cameraman can we get a close-up on these these are just so beautiful i'm going to put him to work right now yeah it was my brother i put him to work <laughs> He always gave me about putting him to work a lot, so. But can we please pull up over here before I finish all of these? And so they can see how beautiful they really are from the top, not just the side. Come on, look at this. Pull it close, pull it close. Just put it here. Do you see how beautiful this is? Oh my gosh. This is absolutely a exquisite. It is. A squid. Oh, look at that one. That one's really nice. Oh, that one is nice. Oh. And it is going on there beautifully, beautifully. This frosting is going to make a whole heck of a lot of difference on here. Look how beautiful that is. Oh. You see the raisins in it that we put? You're going to love it. You're going to love it. You are going to love it. This is absolutely gorgeous. I am loving this. I am so loving this. I love cooking. I love baking this. I do. This is one of my favorite things to bake because it is easy, as you saw. It's easy. It's not time consuming. And it's right to the point. I mean, boom, boom, bam. There it is. Batter. You know, um, your, what we forgot, your, um, brown sugar and cinnamon mixed together and then your brown sugar on there and butter and all that good stuff it's already there okay here here are our ends our ends came out so well they came out so well so so good look at how frosty they look it was melting down all the way inside of them this, because they're so hot, it is melting down all inside of them, making them glossy looking. I'm telling you, no more going to the malls and buying $5 cinnamon rolls when you can sit at home and make your own so beautifully. Yes, so beautifully. You know what I'm telling you? When you start baking a lot like I do, one of the things you find is that you are very picky where you go to eat at because then you start feeling like, you know, I can do that myself. Why do I have to come here and do it? So I, I find myself doing that a lot, going places where they cook certain things and I'm like, I can cook that better or I can do this myself. So let's see if anybody else knew. Oh, he's glossy, but they are good. They have melted all the way in. Oh, this is going to be so creamy. so 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 creamy i just like a lot of frosting in mine i don't know how you like it but you know, that's good you're gonna gain about a pound or two <laughs> but it's okay you lose it back right after this is over with give it a couple of days you lose it right back off well wait until the last one's gone then you lose it back <laughs> 
So well, you're gonna love this. You're so gonna love this. Don't they look just wonderfully glossy? Oh, that is beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We are going to look at one of these and see exactly how they, let's pick one. I wanna pick one, okay. Let's do, let's do this one. Okay, can we get it off the tray? Okay, oh, oh, look, it's soft, so soft. Look at this. It is so soft. Look how soft this is. So soft. Oh my God. And to peel this around, can you see the frosting and the, and the, um, and the raisins? I started to say grapes <laughs> and raisins in there. Look at that. That is wonderful. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Raisins are falling. This is wonderful. Look at the texture of that. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This is wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. They're they're soft. Mmm. Mmm. They're soft. They're cinnamony. Mmm. They're so good. And you would just love it. You have to make these at home. You absolutely have to. Uh, look at that. You see the bottom of that? Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Very soft. Mm, very cinnamony. So, I really hope you enjoyed my channel. Mm, that's good. That. Mm. Fabulous. I'm definitely going to lose it. I'm gaining about three more pounds on these. Absolutely. So, if you like my channel, please be sure to subscribe and give me some likes or some comments or what you think about it. And if this works for you, and you tried this at home or you will try this at home and it works for you, by all means, leave me a comment. I'm just enjoying my day today. Felt like baking. Wanted to share it with you. Listen to my Beethoven. Had a couple of glasses of tequila. I'm feeling good. And I still get to have my cinnamon rolls. So, this is the end of my show. I hope you enjoyed it. And like I said, try it. And if you did, give me a shout out. Don't forget to subscribe. Love you guys. Remember, keep it real. Keep it positive. Keep it real positive. I'll see you next time.